Thanks for joining us here at the Pink Buckle. I'm Amy Wilson, and we are continuing to congratulate the winners from the Premier Pink 40. It had a $150,000 payout, and winning the 1D is Lexi Benson on Dash and Jack S uh, Sparrow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you ran you. a 16975. <laughs> That's fast. Yeah, the fastest I've ever ran on a standard. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm so happy for you. And you. we also should point out the horses winning the 1D and the 2D in the Premier were both by JL or yes, JL Sirocco. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, yep. And then Brittany Posey ran a ran a Sirocco too. It's cool. It's great to see them in the winter circle. Yeah. They are fast here at the Pink Buckle. So this story about how you got this horse just proves it really was meant to be. I would love for you to share it with everyone. For sure. Well, I got him the end of August last year, and it's just a true testament of God's timing and God's plan. Um, I had some young horses, and they were good horses, but I have two young boys, and they're my main priority. And so I was thinking, I'm like, I can't get these young horses made. Um, I, they're into sports. They're very young, but they're still into sports. and so I told my husband, I was like, well, you know, maybe I should just stop. And I said, I, I love being with the boys and, and focus on them. And and I said, and sell the young horses. And he's like, well, you know, my husband's supportive. He's like, do whatever you want. And I was like, well, or I should I maybe sell them and get something a little more finished where I don't, I'm not committed. And and uh, long story short, I put up the horses for sale. And I'm like, if they don't sell, that's okay. Because they were great horses. And um, they did sell. And then I was talking to a friend, and she's just like, well, and we have um, winter. We live in Montana, so it's a hard winter, and it was coming into fall. And falls can be pretty brutal cold, too. And so she's like, well, maybe just wait till the next, you know, the next year in spring and look for something because we're slowing down. And I said, yeah, you're probably right. Well, long story short, those horses sold, and um, I was, like, not looking. And so Reggie, I call him Reggie, um, a good friend of mine, Christy Horner, owned them, and I, she was going to sell them a few years before prior and I wanted to buy him I actually told a couple people like you should look at this horse and he's a great horse and and um, then I told my husband I was like well maybe Christy will sell Reggie he's like well give her a call I'm like no I'm not gonna give her a call I'm like, just gonna wait it out well that was the night before then the, the next morning I went on Facebook and she posted him for sale and I was like oh my gosh I didn't even call my husband I just called Christy I'm like hey <laughs> I'm actually looking, this is the perfect time, you know, I'd love to re try Reggie. And at that time, I was like, I'm just going to buy him. But I <laughs> didn't tell anybody that. And so, and I, my boys are in sports camp. So we had sports camp and she held him for a week and I went and tried him. And I, I just knew instantly. And yeah, like him and I just, we just clicked and he's so fun. He's so easy um, and just good to be around. He's great with my boys, which I, is so important. And yeah. So that's how that's how I got him, and the rest yeah. is kind of history. Yeah. I end up going to the Ruby Buckle in um, South Jordan, Utah, and I was like, "What am I doing here with all these girls?" And he did great there, and and um, and then I was like, "Well, maybe I should enter the pink," and it was kind of hesitant. Um, girls are running 16 sixes here, and I'm like, I told my husband, and again, I have a great support system. He's like, "You can do it. You can do it." <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> yeah, and you did do it, and Thank you knew you. he was the one. That's a cool oh, story. Man. Your yes. boys are only four and seven, but they're here supporting you, aren't they? They are. We they came the trip with us. We do this as a family. Um, I don't go a, go to a ton. Um, so we just make them count, and they think being in Oklahoma is like the coolest thing. We got to sightsee, and sports are huge. Again, they're young, but they um, yeah. love football, and so yeah. yeah, so they're happy to be here, and it's just a great experience. As we try to, Mama runs barrel races, but we try to go and sightsee and get yeah. them seeing other parts of the United States, which is great experience for them. Yeah, I think that <laughs> is such a cool aspect of the Western industry to be able to travel and experience so many different places. The 20 hour drive from Montana was worth it. And it's a little warmer here too, isn't it? Oh man, it's 30 degrees in the morning at home. And so <laughs> poor Reggie is like, I've washed him off several times. We have a fan because it's cold back home. So yeah. are getting colder. It's pretty yeah. warm for us, but right now, but it's 30 degree mornings. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how y'all do it up there. <laughs> anyway, I think we should take a look at this run. A 16.975 to win the 1D here at the Premier Pink in round number one. Take us through this run. Well, he actually bucked with me in the warm up pen. And, <laughs> and I was like, oh no. And he was getting pretty excited. I did my time only. One thing about Reggie is what I'm finding is he needs to feel the ground. Mm. He, he needs confidence. 
And so I did my time only in him, and I, I did a little faster than the lope through, but I just wanted him to feel, and I feel like when he feels it and he knows, he just goes in there and wants to work. And and he's pretty easy, pretty solid for me. Um, and I was telling you earlier, I, I was so nervous the night before and this morning, but once I swing a leg on him, all my nerves go away. It's just, it's pretty remarkable, him and I, it, I just love him, and I know he's once in a million. I'm just thankful God, you know, gave, gifted him. I really, I call him a gift. He really is just a gift. Yeah, so, a match yeah. made in heaven. Yeah. So, so when he bucks in the warm-up pen, you know he's going to fire? Well, I he's guess. Good? I mean, he's he's kind of <laughs> done that, but that was pretty, one of the hardest bucks he's did. I'm like, Reggie, what are you doing? But then he came in here, and he was fine. And so, yeah, yeah he just... I think he just wants to make sure I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. And so on your toes. On my toes. He keeps me on my toes, but it's not bad. I actually laugh about it, and I think people are like, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> but I was like, "Oh, he's he's fine." <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm so glad you stayed involved in barrel racing and found Thank the you. horse that you can go have fun on. Your whole family gets to enjoy it, and now you won $5,600 on that run. So I that's see. extra. Amazing. Yes. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you to Pink Buckle. And yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, we're excited for you. We appreciate you coming up and telling us all about it. That's the premier Pink 40 that will have round number two in the morning right now. The Open is going on. But again, congratulations to Lexi Benson. She was riding Dash and Jack Sparrow. JL Siracos won the 1D and the 2D of the premier, a 16.975. Super fast. We're excited to get to tell you about it. We'll have more coming up. <laughs>